let's make some cookie biscuits guys first i have some flour this is about three cups of flour and some beetroot this is processed beetroot in the sense that it has been cooked and cooked dry till it is almost dry with the help of a glove in my hands i go ahead to incorporate the beetroot with the flour i really wanted this cookie to have a certain type of color but because of this is just an experiment this is an experiment i'm trying it for the first time i ended up adding a little more flour yeah so all the beetroot and the flour is here i add my butter guys for this recipe i didn't really bother weighing a lot because i was just testing it out experimenting guys this is how recipes are formed recipes are formed by you know testing out imag your imagination working on what you've been thinking and bringing it to life and then with subsequent production or making of this same cookie biscuit you get maybe the perfect one you need but i can assure you this cookie biscuit tastes so good i incorporate the butter with the flour and the beetroot and this is what i have next in another bowl i break some egg one egg a large egg and then I proceed to whisk it together in order to, you know, incorporate the egg into the wet flour mix. But I also have to add some milk, about about three spoons of milk here, yeah, and some sugar. I wanted to go with half a cup of sugar, yeah. And this made the cookie biscuit really nice. This is perfect for your winter winter wonderland. You can make a wonderland in your home, wherever you choose to be a wonderland. But this cookie biscuit is right, the one, right perfect for you. You can use it for breakfast and all. I also add some baking powder and some vanilla powder. I love vanilla powder because it gives off that sweet, lovely fragrance. I would like this aroma here. Yeah. It makes the pastry smell nice. And then I mix all together. I had about three cups of flour, some butter, now eggs, about five spoons of baking powder, then one and a half spoon of vanilla powder as well. And then I mix my egg, milk, and sugar together with the flour mix. Yeah, when I mixed it here, I found out that the mix was a bit you know squishy and mushy i didn't really want that i'm not going for a crumble cookie mm -mm. i don't want it to just melt in the mouth or you know crumble off i wanted it to be like a cookie and biscuits as well you know what i mean yeah but i love the color of the butter here already just giving me that pink look the pink vibe i wanted so yeah, it was a bit too wet and squishy for my liking. I decided to add a little more flour to, yeah, to solidify it a bit. No, I don't want the cookie biscuit to be too hard, but I do not want it to be overly soft like crumble cookie. Crumble cookie, yeah. So I mix everything together as well, and yeah. I had to add more flour as well so guys in the long run the measurement i wanted at first with three cups of flour ended up changing because of this i had to mix it all together the and then it changed the whole <laughs> the whole recipe for me because i was experimenting so yeah if i was to do this again i guess i'll take a different approach to the recipe but this is what i have now i love the texture yes i don't want crumble i don't want it too soft i just wanted the cookie biscuit something you can have with some coffee some tea some drink of your choice some hot chocolate in winter yeah this is a winter wonderland cookie biscuit i proceed to cook some white chocolate which will be added to this cookie biscuit yeah. This white chocolate also made it extra sweet 
Yeah, I remember I had like half cup of sugar. If I also do this again, maybe I'll reduce the sugar because of the chocolate, but everybody loves it. Nobody cares about what I think is my observation here, but the people who had it, the testers, my kids, my family, my friends, they all loved the cookie and wanted me to make more. <laughs> so here I have the white chocolate in the in the cookie biscuit flour mix yeah or the butter yeah i mix the white chocolate i incorporate it nicely into the butter into the cookie biscuit butter and then yeah guys maybe we can call this winter wonderland beetroot cookie biscuit yeah because the beetroot uh the beetroot added to the color i kind of love when food items have natural color to it like the coloring agent is natural not like some chemical infused color yeah so that's why i'm glad i used beetroot then with the help of a scale i weigh in the one i want the amount the weight I, of the cookie i wanted i wanted it to be at 63 yeah 63 grams there about before i even maybe stuff in more chocolate but for the first weight i needed it to just be at 63 i love 63 because the cookie biscuit i love the shape with 63 i love the size of the 63 cookie biscuit so with the help of a weighing scale the food weighing scale i do this to achieve the cookie biscuit size i wanted Yeah, I also had a lot of fun doing this because sometimes when you put the cookie in the on the weighing scale, it tends to, you know, be a little bit, you know, over the weight and a little bit under the weight as well, underweight or overweight. So you have to keep like now it's seventy. You have to keep pinching, 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 pinching till you get your ideal weight. Wow. Just a little more yeah that's it i have the 63 all complete so yeah with the help of weights you can achieve the weight you want then i get a cookie called cutter this cookie cutter helps give the cookie biscuit the shape i want this is the flower shape that also looks like a, a unique star but it's just a flower shape I stuff in more white chocolate or some chocolate into the cookie dough this is so it can look like it has chocolate in it because i had incorporated white chocolates earlier but i wanted it to show i wanted the white chocolate to be visible at the end of the day you know like when you see it you know that there's chocolate in the cookie biscuit that is what i was going for so i stuff it nicely I have two shapes here. I have the flour cookie biscuit dough and also the heart shaped dough. Yeah, so this is it on a closer look. I press it down and then stuff in chocolate into it. I wanted the cookie biscuits to have a shape. Then this is what I have. I bake it in an oven for about 15 minutes in a preheated oven and voila, here it is. Yeah, I want, although I wanted it to be like a darker shade of pink or red, but then you guys know what happened. I had to stuff in more flowers, you know, add more flour to it, rather. And then this is what I have, but I still loved it. I still love that experimenting with this recipe, creating this recipe got me this. I'm really glad I was able to work on what I've been thinking in my head to create a winter wonderland cookie biscuit using beetroot what do you guys think do you like the color do you like the look hit the comment section and let me know for now have a beautiful day stay tuned and stay blessed <music>